Hey, what's up? It's time for more Gurren Lagan episode 9. Last episode was a pretty insane episode. I think we lost Kamina. And, uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I think we're just gonna jump into the episode and see what the result of that is, what we do from here. But it was a, it was, it was crazy. It was insane. So, Let's get into it. If you want to watch the next episode in full length version on my Patreon account right now, you can. Just go into the description. Patreon account, uh, the full length reaction of episode 10 should be on there right now. Um, otherwise, I'm a small channel, so just support the video where you can. Liking the video, commenting down below, and subscribing to the channel. You can also go to my Gent Watchers One Piece channel if you like One Piece. Alright, here we go. This is Gurren Lagan, episode 9. <laughs> He must go on living. Okay. That's a huge moon. Tepelin. Battle, has he? Yes. And reports say Dai Gunzun was stolen. Oh, Timothy God. Was one of the four generals. Must have gotten careless. Seat Don't forget the old one's foe. What nonsense. If some lowly armadillo did Ooh. turn around and try to fight, all one need do is crush it. What a design. Understand some of the f Please, your majesty, grant me the chance to avenge his death. <laughs> I beg you. Oh, the Spiral King but looks kind of cool. Our friendships that know not the boundaries of gender. So what you're saying <laughs> in other words is that- Hold your tongue, anteater. What the fuck is I that? Does she have a tail? And yet, as you wish, go. Does this throne reach up into the sky? Dina the humans and verse them in the power and terror of the Spiral King. I like her. Ruling over all within it. I haven't the slightest intention of questioning or defying your decisions. Then leave me. Yes. <laughs> this is getting interesting. We're getting some lore on the enemies now. Pondering the nature of how humans really are. And back to the black and white rain. Back off. What'd you say? I'll handle it. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. I mean, he's pissed now. Oh god, he's broken. And the rain with tear stains. What? What exactly is a human? Okay, that was hard to read. It's been seven days. Oh, everyone's depressed. Yes, it looks like our Lady Daiguren is a temperamental fellow. Daiguren, we need more eh? spirit around here. It has a repair factory, and its living quarters are fully equipped. That's awesome. <laughs> only get the That's main so cool. engine stabilized. Alas, the only thing it cannot seem to mend is a broken human heart. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like you're the only one aboard that thing. Guren Lagan is about teamwork. Oh, look how yeah, broken well, he nobody looks. Nobody asked you to pilot it, so don't. Oh, don't get too full of yourself. You know, if you'd have held it together, Kamina wouldn't be dead right now. Oh my God. Hey, that's enough. It's okay. What Kitan said is true. I killed Bro. Oh. oh just for you, Rosie, why didn't that god of yours save Bro's life? Oh my oh, god. That's right, I forgot. The god you pray to is a gunman. Now he's. So it's no wonder he died. I wow, mean, after this is. All, it was a god that killed Bro, an interesting wasn't it, development wasn't for it? Simone's character. That was uncalled for. Yeah. But I'm glad you apologized. Everyone knows you're grieving very hard. But, uh, not now. I'm exhausted. His ass is growing back. Speaking of grieving, Yoko, I imagine you're grieving it's pretty hard too. It's gotta be or nobody. If an obnoxious little kid like Simon is made leader, Team Gurren is officially history. <laughs> oh. Daigren. It's not Team Gurren. Team Daigren. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is her way of grieving. Don't eat yourself sick. War continues to go on and on. Yeah. She's. I guess you have a point. Pretending it's not bothering her. Hmm? And it's all thanks to him. So they have like such a big improvement, but without him, it doesn't feel good. He seems good. like he's getting kind of worn down. Sacrifices are necessary for survival, and we work hard to make sure they aren't in vain. This is what I've she's trying to tell herself. What we do. But you but felt different time, about coming, huh? I don't. I'm sorry. It's all I can do to keep myself together these days. She, she's honestly handling herself pretty well, all things considered. Pilot Guren, Simon, hang on. Rosie, I mean. 
You can't do it by yourself, right? Go on, combine. Oh. Oh, right, fine. oh he is okay. Man, Simone's so different right now. Simo, stop! You're pushing it too hard. Yeah, and he's so aggressive. And the spirit's not like all the way there. He's just bastard, fighting bastard, with brutality. Bro, he never screamed like that, not ever! Oh my god. No Simo, one can live up to, to his down. idea. If you keep on fighting this way, you'll oh, be the one who dies this time! Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god! It's leaking bad. out! Jesus! Simo, no. Maybe Simon just needs some time alone. Oh my god, look at that one. Is that a horse? Good, it started. I mean, you doesn't you don't have much control of your own emotions right now. Feel like with machines basically powered by emotions, <laughs> this is a bad time for it. Is that a loot box? You got a legendary skin from there for your uh, for your mech? Oh, put the drill in there. That's a drill sized hole, or you can put something else in there. Depending on how adventurous you are. Okay. It's like a Borderlands um, weapon box. What's in there? Is this the person from the OP? It is. Who is this? Their design is really cool. <laughs> Hail fellow, well met. Uh, Hail fellow, is that what you said? <laughs> and who are you, my good sir? Some sort of angelic good woman. Sir, no. uh, this is the outside, isn't it? Oh. This must be rain. Um, that's dirt. Hey, um, are you okay without any shoes? <laughs> it's so thick and cold and wet and gooey and squishy. <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh, she's bringing light back to this show. It is. You have no tail, no claws, no feathers. Oh. That end. Your skin is so You're soft. not a beast, man. Oh, well, that's only natural. You know, like a person. <sighs> Please tell me, what exactly is a human? I like her eyes. Uh -huh. Well, a human is, well, like you and me. You know, we Simone's have Simone's talking like he normally head, does now. Like There's lots more. Really? And Ooh. all of them are the same as you? No, we're not all identical. That would be creepy if everyone had the same face. The light's would like piercing creepy? through again. Yeah, this is how you're gonna right. start to heal. You need like fresh eyes, someone who isn't so damaged around you. I, wonder. I don't. First things first, though. We really need to get out of here. Here. Huh? Aw, that's nice like of him. That. My name is Nia. What are Nia? you? Nia. My name is Simon. Simon. I think that name is nice. Oh, <laughs> she's cute. What is that thing right there? Oh my god, there's the horse! Oh my god, there's a horse with a gun! Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's so sweet, I love her so much already. Can Nia do something? <sighs> really? No, I'm not scared. You must not lie either. <laughs> Let us escape together. <laughs> I have to listen to her voice again. One of those lines sounded like Cassandra Lee Morris. I'm not let anyone else die. Hell yes. Neither. Neither. See, if you're all working together. 
goes so much better. Oh my god! The banana mech is very funny. That's what I'm talking about. He found a girlfriend already. I like how they're holding hands. Humans come in all shapes and sizes. So let me get this straight. Honorable father, she said. Oh, I thank you. Why is the old man here? What'd you do? I asked him if he would tell me the reason why I was born, and uh, after I spoke, Damn. I could feel my father had closed his heart to me. Shit. Uh, Yoko. You probably shouldn't. Yeah, Nothing he'll... you can say right now can help him. And he'll take he'll it out on you. He'll only make the hole in his heart. <laughs> What's happening? Is this uh, the, the woman, maybe? Adian or whatever? Where's all this water Whoa. Wait just a second. <laughs> Whoa. The music's cool. There's no escape. Yeah, this is her, yeah. Human. Told you they're not ready yet. Oh my god. Stop this at once, Adina. Yeah. Is that first princess Nia, daughter of Spiral King? Lord yeah, General. yeah, I, I thought you were the Spiral Adina King's daughter. Delegate, who I am? Very cool. <laughs> this is awesome. That was great. That was a great episode. This is a good evolution for the show, I think. This has gotten me, like, reinvigorated with with the show and the themes of the show. And, like, if you're gonna... Man, I think, I think they did this really well. Because the, um, the grief part is necessary, right? Like, seeing these characters be really destroyed by Kamina's death is very important. That's a hard thing to get through, but it is very important. But also... Like, it, I feel like it's difficult to snap the characters out of it, you know? Like, that, there, there's a, a tricky thing with grief in fiction, I feel like, where, I, like, grief is honestly, like, it's, it's important for us to watch, but at the same time, like, grief tends to make our characters not be the characters that we know. And so because of that, I feel like you, you want to show the grief, but then also you want to kind of minimize the amount of grief you have to show in, in a series because the audience kind of wants to get, you know, back to some sort of status quo or like see the character that they, that they want again, you know? So, um, like I think something that I can compare it to in in my mind is like in um in my hero academia there's a part in my hero academia uh in season six where the main character basically is at like rock bottom and he's and like he, he he's very um down on himself and and exhausted and and everything right um and i really liked that part of the show because it was really cool to see and i feel like it was very earned and and it was really interesting and there was a lot of cool stuff that was happening there but if that went on for like an entire season that like that aspect of his personality i would have been kind of exhausted by it and very sad because i'm like but this isn't this isn't deku you know this isn't the character that i related to and that i like to follow and stuff um but you know it's they they find a way to like get him out of that within you know four or five episodes um so that you we can get back to the character that we know and love so in a similar way here with Kamina's death you want these characters to go through it but you also need to have something that can snap them out of their grief but you also like don't want it to feel um like you know like they just suddenly stopped grieving you know like you can't really i mean you could but it wouldn't be quite as effective if you just had simone you know give a speech about like well come in i would want us to push on and then you just push on like that on its own i don't think would be enough you'd need something specific to happen so i think they did it really well in that we got some time to grieve we got to go through all of that and we get to see how it's really affected them. But then, 
a wild card comes in from the outside. Something completely unexpected. Someone who, like, doesn't know anything about the situation, doesn't know Kamina, like, just completely fresh eyes. And the reason that's important, I think, is because a lot of the time when we as people are in states of grief or depression or whatever, the monotony makes it hard for us to do anything or be ourselves. So there basically I feel like could have been no one to make Simone feel like himself again because everyone else is also grieving and people tend to like drag each other down quite a lot. Like if there's a person that, you know, there's something that annoys you and this and about them and there's something about you that annoys them like and you 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 guys are kind of going back and forth you both tend to spiral quite a lot and go like down further and further together cuz it's very difficult like there's nothing to break it up and you're both like you're you're now starting to talk to each other expecting to be pissy with each other and expecting something to go wrong and so because of that neither of you are ever being positive and it keeps going worse and worse but i found if you bring someone into the group who like doesn't know the the you know the the history and they're just like a person that's fun to be around then you tend to like you know the other person might joke with them and then you laugh at their joke and then you joke and then you're playing off each other a little bit more and you start to remember why you liked them because this third party has brought out the bits of them that you liked again you know you can go back to that that way that's something that i've experienced with people before um, it's not just something I'm, it's not a concept I'm making up, it's a, it's something I've genuinely experienced with people. And in that same way, Nia coming in here, like, Simone looks at Nia and isn't reminded of Kamina, isn't reminded of things that they did, isn't thought, isn't thinking about arguments that they've had or, um, wait, looks that, that someone's given him, like, all he's thinking is like, who is this person? And he goes back to his default, who he is. Which is, he's a nervous but sweet and meek guy who cares about people. And he, like, reverts back to that. And he's, like, talking normally again. And he gives her his shoes so that she doesn't, you know, like, she doesn't track mud all over the ground and hurt her feet and all of that. So he, like, he's a sweet guy and like that brings him back to it and now she's being brought in here and everyone's energy is changing because it's like who's this person there's a like there's a new person around and on top of that she's just very sweet you know and she she isn't gonna give him sort of false platitudes she is like extremely to the point it doesn't seem like she's the sort of person to lie to anyone or anything so when she says like hey we we should get out of here together it's like why would he say no to that you know he he has no reason to mistrust this person um and so he's more likely to listen to someone like her than you know someone like yoko who maybe subconsciously he feels like we lost him together so like you know what what good does your word do you know like there might be there might be um baggage still with everyone right now so I really, really liked the way they did this. This is a great time to introduce a new character. That's This is the perfect energy of character to have. And now I need to look up the voice actor. I'm going to make a prediction. And this is actually kind of a bold prediction because, um, because it doesn't incredibly sound like her. But it there's, there was like one or two lines in there where a little bit of voice slipped out that reminded me of Cassandra Lee Morris. So I'm going to guess, I'm just going to make a small guess that this is Cassandra Lee Morris doing an extra high-pitched voice. Because normally Cassandra Lee Morris, if you don't know, she's a voice actress who does... Um, uh, Aoi Asahina in Danganronpa. She does... Um, Mulani in Genshin, one of the new characters. Um, she d does the. Uh, is she Ritsu in Kaon? She's a lot of a lot of characters. She's a very um, very great voice actress. But she does tend to do like sort of peppy tomboyish type girl voices, you know. 
Um, I and like that's that's kind of her thing. I don't know if I've heard many times when she's done like a very prissy, innocent voice. So that's my guess. Now I'm going to look up who um, who voices her. I was wrong, but that's good because I honestly, you know, I I didn't know and I wanted to see. She's voiced apparently by Bridget Hoffman. Um, or is it, or is it Hinden Walsh? I'm not quite sure. I don't know which one of these is, um, is the, uh, actual, like, main voice actress. Um, uh, okay. Let me, let me just see if I can find out, like, who the main one is. I think it's Bridget Hoffman. I think it's Bridget Hoffman is the main one. No, but it, it's... <laughs> everything tells me different answers. All right. Well, Bridget Hoffman, let me see if I know her from anything. Um, I'm just scrolling through her my anime list real quick just to see. I don't think so. I don't... Like, she's in quite a decent amount, but I don't... It's not really stuff that I watch. Um, and then the other thing... Uh, other person... Other thing. I'm so sorry. Hinden Walsh. Um... Does she voice anyone that I know? Not really, either. Okay. All right. So they're both people I don't really know. Interesting. Because I, I really would have thought it would have been someone that I kind of know. I, I thought it was either going to be Cassandra Lee Morris and that, like, home run... Not home run. Hail Mary would have landed. Or it was going to be someone that I kind of know and have heard in a few things. But it's actually just a voice actress. I don't know. So that's good, too. I like learning uh, voice actors that I, that I don't know. Um, because it, it hopefully adds to my, my repertoire of, uh, voice acting knowledge in my head, which isn't that huge, but I've got okay knowledge of, uh, English dub voice actors, I would say. But anyway, um, yeah, this was, this is great. And something the, um, the episode really did was like, it drove home the idea of Kamina. Like what, it's not about who Kamina was, it was about what other people thought he was. And that's the big thing. I feel like when someone is no longer with you, the things you will remember about them are like these standout moments that you almost create a one-dimensional version of who they actually were. Kamina was a, you know, pretty complicated-ish dude. I mean, he, he wasn't, but he was... What I mean by that is he was very flawed, but also, you know, had a lot of virtue. And I, I talked heavily about his flaws in the past eight episodes, right? Like, just non-stop, I would not stop talking about his flaws as a character, because I was anticipating they were going through a major character arc with him. But now I see what the show feels like it's actually doing is it's like, we saw all of those flaws, we saw how he was a complex person, but when he goes away, people aren't thinking about that anymore. Like, it, they, they were so frustrated with him when he was around, but now that he's gone, people are starting to go, hang on, but what he represented and what he provided us is something that we really needed. And we didn't see that properly at the time. We didn't understand that we really needed someone like that around us to keep us in check. And now that he's gone, we don't have that anymore. Um, so I think it works well because you, like, I... Because I, I think it works for me because it does feel like there's a hole in this show. Even though Kamina, out of like the main, the main three, he was definitely my least favorite. And like out of a lot of the main cast in this sh show, he was like very low on the list of my favorite characters. And yet I feel like he's left the biggest hole behind when he left. And this episode like really makes you realize that. And I think that's that's what works about his character, and that means they did the writers did their job extremely well. Because even me, who who didn't like didn't love his character overall, I still love what they did with his character, and I feel I, I still love how effective it can be, even on someone like me. So that's great. But I mean, frankly, we traded a Kamina for a Nia. I'm happy with that trade. <laughs> we traded for a character that seems definitely more my style of character. I really like Nia so far. Um, but yeah, anyway, 
That was uh, Gurren Lagann, episode 9. Thank you for joining us. Uh, make sure to support this video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. You can get the next episode in full-length version on my Patreon account right now. Early access, one week early, um, over there. Uh, and full-length versions for all of my videos on my Patreon account. But thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.